Hey, John here walking you through the steps of sending out client reports. Now with client reporting, uh, it's a bit counterintuitive, but instead of starting here on the reports tab, you're actually going to come to this data drop down and select the client mappings. Now client mappings is what our reporting tool uses to um, filter out one template for multiple customers um, and then send that template out to those prospective customers and the, the proper contacts. So essentially, with Al's coffee shop uh, client mapping being set up, uh, Al will receive Al's coffee shop report and by and large will receive the by and large report all by using one solid report template. Now to add a client mapping, you're gonna select this blue add a client button and then you can name that mapping here at the top. So I'm gonna do Umbrella Corporation and when I type in Umbrella here, and click search, you should see every data source that I have on my account that has information for Umbrella Corporation. We should see that little one um, up in the top corner. Now, if you know you have data for your customer and it's not appearing here for that prospective uh, data source, what I would suggest is coming down here to this green plus button where it says add a client, select that button and try typing in uh, the other name convention you might have for that customer inside that data source. So maybe I can try UMB, see if something shows up and nothing shows up. So I know that in Datto, there's probably nothing uh, worth reporting on from Umbrella Corporation. So now that's set up, I'll click this green save button and we should see that appear here at the bottom of the client mappings list. Once you have your mapping set up, come here to the reports page which will automatically open up on this sent tab. Um, however, we do have some canned default templates for you to use. Um, so click on this templates tab and you should see whatever uh, defaults we have on the account available appear here on a list. Now, for example purposes here, I'm gonna use this quarterly business review as my template. And what I'll do is click these three dots and select create report. Now at this point, we get to select for my company for internal reports or for my client for client reporting. And when I select for my client, we can see our mappings appear here at the bottom. So all you need to do is click select all clients um, to have this report sent out to every client mapping you have on your account. Then I can click next step. It comes to this page where I have a chance to change my mind and select a different template. But we're gonna keep this template for now and go to next step again. Now, when I get here to the uh, report builder, this is where I get to see what the report would look like for all my individual customers. Um, if I wanted to add any sort of uh, gauges, they appear here um, to the left and your most recently updated or newer gauges will appear at the top of that list. Now, with this report builder, we do see many of our customers um, wanting to mix data from you know, their CSAT tool, their PSA tool, their RMM tool, and that's really easy to do. Um, you can come here to the blue filters and sorting button, come to this drop down that says all data sources, and simply select the data source you want to have those gauges appear here on the side. Uh, what we see a lot of our customers doing is actually uh, organizing the different data with these text boxes, which you can add by looking at this modal section here to the left. Uh, so for example, here we can see here we have some service reactions. When we scroll down, we have some ConnectWise data. Keep scrolling, we have some lab tech data, so on and so forth. Now when you're reviewing your, your uh, report template here, we have this drop down menu where you can select uh, all the different mappings to kind of look at what the report would look like for that customer. And you can also see that when you add your logo to the accounts page, uh, your logo will appear here in the top right corner of the report. Now please keep in mind the report is completely dynamic just like the dashboards. So you can move these gauges up and down, you can resize them, and you can also uh, know that you have drill down capability within these reports. So the reports get sent out in email form uh, as a link. When you click on the link, it'll open in a separate browser tab for that customer. And we do that so that they can click into these numbers and get some more granular information if needed. 
Now, please note that when you are sending these reports out, you can send them out, as you see here, quarterly. You can send them out monthly. You can send them out weekly or daily. Uh, please be aware of the cadence you're going to be sending out these reports in um, and make sure that your gauges uh, reflect that same cadence. So, for example, this is a quarterly report. I probably don't want to have a gauge that has uh, current week data or uh, you know, today's data. I want data for the previous quarter or for current quarter appearing on the quarterly report. Now, once this report looks good and you don't want to put it into landscape mode, you don't want to add a cover page uh, and you're ready to roll, you're going to come here to the next step button and this will bring you to the email modal. Now, in this email modal, uh, when you want to choose a recipient, simply click here. Uh, when you're adding your client mappings, you also can add recipients to those mappings. So really what you want to select for client reports is this All Client Recipients button. Now make sure this is the only button you are selecting because if you select an individual's name alongside the All Client Recipients, they will actually receive all of the reports for all of the other customers. So the uh, Al's if you put Al's contact here as a recipient along the All Client Recipients button, Al would not receive only the Al's uh, coffee shop report. He'd also receive the Brightgate report, the By and Large report, uh, so on and so forth. So really important that you only select this All Client Recipients button. Um, if you need a refresher on how to add client recipients to the client mappings, uh, please look at the client mappings how-to um, that can be found on our blog. Now, once you have the recipient set there, uh, you can set the schedule for this report by selecting the Schedule Report button. Now, we can see here we can send one now, daily, weekly, monthly. Let's do monthly as an example. Uh, so let's say I want to send this out quarterly, right? So that would be repeat every three months. And then I also can kind of filter this down to be by day of the week. So maybe I want it on the first Monday of every quarter and to be set at 9 a.m. Update report. Now that schedule is set. Um, and the report will automatically update all the information every time it gets sent out on that cadence. This is all happening in the background for you without you having to worry about anything. Now you can also attach a PDF uh, version of the report to the email um, in case your clients want to have something that's downloadable and that they can save on a folder on their desktop. Uh, please note that all of that additional granular information found in the drill down when you click on the gauges, that's not going to be available when you attach a PDF um, that's only available in the web version of the report. You can see here where the link would appear uh, for the report for that client. Your company logo will be here at the top. And we have some other tokens set up in this basic body of the email um, to give the impression of being personalized for each of your individual customers. And we also have a lot of additional available tokens um, that you can add to the report if uh, you know, need be. Now, once this is ready, all you need to do is simply select this blue schedule report button and you're off to the races. Uh, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team at support at brightgauge.com.